Hi, in this video, I'd like to walk you through the Drive functionality in Document 360. If you're familiar with cloud storage services like Google Drive, you won't have any problems getting up and running with Document 360's Drive feature. Having all your assets in one centralized location can really boost your productivity, especially if you deal with very large knowledge bases and collaborate with a lot of other people. Whether it's PDFs, images, videos, Word files or spreadsheets, you can use Drive to neatly organize content, add categories and files, tag items, rename them, and much more. Let's look at some of the capabilities of the Drive Insight Document 360. We'll need to click on the Drive button on the left-hand panel. Let's start by creating a new folder. As a best practice, always have a good folder structure in line with your knowledge base, which makes it easy for you and everyone else on your team to manage, navigate, and find content relevant to your articles. Let's name this folder Configuration. Let's create a subfolder under this named Team Management. You can add as many subfolders as you want. Now, let's drag and drop some image files under Team Management. You can also click the Upload button up top. Let's upload these PDFs as well. As you can see, the experience is quite quick and seamless. Once the files are in here, we can do several operations on them. For example, let's say this file is super important. We can star this item, and if we go to the starred list, we're able to find it quickly. Let's say we want to better organize our folders and separate the PDFs from the images. Let's create a folder named Images. Now we can select all the images in the list and just move them to the new folder. It's that simple. You can view details of a particular file by clicking View Details. Here we can not only view some metadata, but we can even add tags to the item making it even easier to find and organize our assets. Let's click Tags and give it some relevant keywords. Now, Drive will display the tags associated with this asset. You can drag and drop folders easily. If you want to quickly find something you just added, click on the recent folder and you'll find it there. One of the issues with some platforms is that once an item is deleted, it's gone for good and sometimes it's just human error. Document 360's Drive will retain deleted content for 30 days in the recycle bin, ensuring that you have enough time to restore any missing files that have been lost. Document 360 provides 100 GB storage by default, which is sufficient for most knowledge base requirements, but you can always increase this by purchasing more storage. Some of the options you'll find on the top panel include the viewing mode. You can change from a list view to a grid view. You can use the search function to look for a certain file and even filter it by tags. Now let's move into the documentation and see how the drive can help us while we actually create an article. Let's say we'd like to add some image here. Just click on insert images and click on from file picker. This will bring up the drive and default to the recent folder. We'll select the image we want to add and there it is. Pretty straightforward. Document 360 also has a concept called attachments, which are actual downloadable content for your users. For example, let's add a couple of our PDFs as attachments. We'll again look into the drive to select the files we need, and they will be available for download for users on our public facing site. As you can see, the drive functionality can add a lot of value when it comes to maintaining a large library of assets. It can help you build your articles quickly and easily, regardless of the size or location of your teams. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more videos in the tutorial section.